Archaea are one of the three main domains of life. They are single-celled, simple organisms. They are also extremophiles, which means they live in harsh environments such as extremely salty water, acid pools, and deep sea hydrothermal vents. Archaea have a typical prokaryotic cell structure. This model of an example archaea bacteria has a plasma membrane and cell wall as the outer defense of the organism. Some archaea have a capsule, slime layer, or endospore to protect them as well. Most have pili or flagella for movement. Some have both and some have neither. Inside the jelly-like cytoplasm, they have ribosomes for building proteins and loose DNA not bound into a nucleus. These images show examples of extremophile archaea. The first is Aeropyrum pernix. It was originally isolated from heated marine sediments and venting water collected off the coast of Japan. The second image is Thermococcus littoralis, found in deep sea hydrothermal vents as well as shallow submarine thermal springs and oil wells. These are just two of several types of archaea. Halobacteria are archaea with pink pigments that love extremely salty marine environments. Halobacteria live in places such as Utah's Great Salt Lake and the Dead Sea in Israel. They survive by absorbing salt from their environment. They are cultured on special halobacteria agar, which has a high salt concentration and the amino acids they need to survive. In our experiment with halobacteria, we chose between three different streaking methods in order to see which one would give the best ending results, which was supposed to be distinct isolated colonies of the bacteria. First, we took clean petri dishes and using sterile methods, poured halobacteria auger plates. Once the auger re-solidified, we took disposable inoculating tubes and dipped them in the halobacteria broth and spread them on the plate. For the second, third, and fourth streaks, we used new loops, only spreading from what was on the plate. Some plates did result in individual colonies, while others did not. It was difficult to test the different streaks because it was the first time most of us had streaked a plate, and since the bacterial broth wasn't visible once it was spread, it was hard to tell where bacteria had and had not been spread. Some of the salt in the auger did not remain dissolved and crystallized on the plate. Thank you.